Hello, my name is Wilhelm Ronkin, and my project was over the discovery of the X-rays, which was around 8, November 8, 1895. When I first stumbled upon X-rays, it was by accident, actually. I was already experimenting on cathode ray tubes at the time, and more specifically, passing electric current through different gases at extremely low pressures. While I was doing this, I noticed that certain rays were passed, and they had affected my nearby barium platinocyanide covered screen. It had caused a green illumination somehow even though I actually covered, uh, fully covered my cathode ray tube with uh, heavy black paper. Uh, this project took place in my lab while I was a professor at the University of Würzburg in Germany. Uh, I remember during around this time, a few years previous around 1892, there was actually another, another physicist, Philip Leonard, who had invented the cathode ray tube, which had contributed significantly to my findings. Uh, before him in 1890, Arthur Godspeed had experimented with a Crookes tube and found that when he had left a couple of coins on some photo, photographic plates, there were actually circles that had shown up as a result. Even after my discovery, I remember the Spanish-American War breaking out around 1898 and my findings were already helping them in the field of medicine by then the wounded soldiers were actually able to use my x-ray my x-rays I have found to find the location of bullets um, other people that were involved in the project uh, for most of the time I was scheduled I was secluded in my own lab for weeks on end I barely even talked to my own wife other than when she would bring me food However, I did do a little testing and created one of my first images with these rays with her. Uh, the, women, the image uh, was of her hand and it showed only the bones and her wedding ring. Other than that, I also presented some of my colleagues a radiograph of some weights inside of a box. Um, my role in the project was I was the founder of the actual x-ray. I didn't really have any assistance or anybody helping me. It was primarily just me working in my lab and just doing some tests with other people and whatnot. I was just another physicist experimenting and stumbling upon a new discovery. I didn't think I investigated. Uh, the impact of my project to the physics community was extraordinary. Many other physicists like myself dropped their own projects and began recreating my own experiment. J.J. Uh, Thompson was able to discover electron electrons uh, existed through this project a few years later. Uh, Henry Becquerel discovered radioactivity shortly after this. And even Einstein uses to advantage and was able to establish the equivalence in matter and energy. Um, some awards that I uh, got because of this project, specifically, uh, I was given the Brumford Medal in 1896. The same year, I got the Matucci Medal. Uh, the next year, I got the Elliott Crisson Medal, and I got the Barnard Medal for Meritorious Service. Uh, that was in 1900. Finally, I was I did receive the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1901. Thank you very much.